Tens of billions of Americans owe more than a trillion dollars in student debt. 43 million of us hold some student debt. Do you know what your interest rate is? Between seven and nine percent. I know I'm already $75,000 in debt and I'm only halfway through. I think we are facing a student loan crisis in America. And let me tell you why. The powers that be won't be civilized and find a way to help young people out of this, this dilemma, then young people should fight back. Students have to get off their butts and realize that the only solution is with them. And it involves protest. Let's go to work, baby. Fox News needs to be covering this. Huh. By that Who pole? is that guy out there? Student loan. Oh, right, right, right. Get, that oh, attention. Attention. get out of there. Attention. We got the message. I got a nice little shout out from Geraldo. It's drilled into us as, as Americans that if you borrow and you're not able to pay back, it's your fault. It's not that simple. It's much more complicated than that, and it's much more predatory than that. Total for tuition, living expenses, all of those things. In Washington, D.C., it was $310,000. And then by the time, at least based on payment plans, by the time I'm finished paying, I will have paid back over $400,000 in student loans. This is a national scandal. It's a national crisis. And unfortunately, there are power players out there who are just very busy sweeping it under the rug. Albert Lord really is the architect of what turned Sally May into such a predatory entity. Albert Lord became perennially the highest paid CEO in Washington, D.C. He built his own private 18-hole luxury golf course. He recognized how much money Sally May could be making. If you just can't pay, why does it make sense to squeeze you if you can't do it? If they've exhausted their opportunities for you, the government's going to pay them. They're still going to make money. They're guaranteed. Everything that he's discussing could be solved in one fell swoop by returning bankruptcy protections to student loans. We don't allow student loan debt to be discharged in bankruptcy. Right. I'm, I'd be at a loss to, to explain why that should be the case. They don't care if you've been paralyzed, if you have cancer, if you're struggling to feed your kids. F you pay me. That, that's, that's how they are with this. They, they don't care. Students trust their colleges. Whatever their college puts in front of them, they're going to sign the promissory notes. It doesn't matter. They could be signing away their firstborn, and they'll still sign because they're not going to read the fine print. And nobody questions it. That's the way we are launching one generation of young Americans after another, steeped in debt, steeped in revolving interest rates, and unable to defend themselves as they move into their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, and I know people who are in their 70s who are still paying. Unless you're gonna hit the lottery, for the most part, you're gonna end up in a cycle where you're just paying off interest in perpetuity. That is a place that psychologically is very difficult for people to be and, and still function. How can we change the system to make sure that you are not under so much stress that you eventually commit suicide from student loan debt. How is it that America is allowing this to happen is right. what's heartbreaking. Right. We are fighting for everybody, whether they take out loans, whether they pay for their kids' tuition out of pocket, we are fighting for them. An unfair lending system hurts everybody, whether they borrow or not. Finally, we see it here in the Washington Post in the op-ed section, it's not mentioning any solutions. All it's doing is saying, oh shit, defaults are really bad. I've been doing student loan justice every day, 365 days a year. We still have a lot of work to do. We've got to mobilize tens or hopefully hundreds of thousands of people. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to do it.